Uh, I was driving north for the most part, from the south uh, side of Prince Edward Island. So I could see this beautiful, beautiful sunrise. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, coming up on the east uh, side. And I'm like, I gotta get to my location. I gotta get to my location. I got here. I think I got some nice shots. Good morning. I'm coming to you from uh, Prince Edward Island, Thunder Cove Beach. It is sunrise. Look at that color there. Uh, I'm here a little later than I wanted to. Uh, small detour. I'm actually here to photograph Teacup Rock, which I believe is back down that way. But you see the sun's not exactly hitting there yet, but I'm thinking of a nice minimal shot just shooting down the beach here. Uh, been a bit of a rush, like I say, here a little later than I wanted to. So I'm going to start shooting here and then work my way down the coast. This photograph here is one of a number of uh, different versions of this composition. Now, what I do like about this particular photograph, you know, obviously right off the top is the, the colors that are coming in. Uh, it is quite beautiful and stunning. Uh, obviously, there's a foreground object, which I think provides a lot of interest. Now, what I also like is how that object is pushing some of the water around it. So it provides, a, you know, a nice little upside down U uh, to, the, to the waves that are coming in. Now, what I don't like is the fact that I, that object is not uh, tack sharp. I should have taken a uh, photograph at a very quick shutter speed just to get that and then blend that in with another photo with a, with a longer exposure. Um, but once again, overall, I do like the photograph, you know, the colors and the tones and just the overall composition. It, I find it a very lovely photo. All right, so, so long Thunder Cove Beach. Now, it's nice and beautiful. Teacup Rock is around this uh, point, if I'm not mistaken. The problem is, is the water's a little higher than uh, I prepared for today. Uh, so I think I might scramble my way up, just cut across the shoreline, up, or not the shoreline, the uh, bridge line or the hilltop up here. See if I can uh, get up there. Uh, anyways, we'll see. If, we'll see if this uh, video changes and never makes the cut. All right, so let's get going. Okay, so I found Teacup Rock. Now the problem is I'm not sure I can safely get to a good spot to photograph it. Because if you recall, I walked along the beach. Uh, tide is in, going around. Uh, you know, around the rock formation so right back there is teacup rock now the problem is from this vantage point it's quite hidden now it's a nice little cove down here that will probably get a nice shot problem is there's no way out with the tide and i don't know the tide tables so i don't know if this is as bad as it gets or whether that could get worse so i'm not going to put myself in a precarious position without knowing uh, exactly what I'm gonna get, my, will get myself into. So I am going to try to find a vantage point, uh, potentially of the cove area. Uh, there are uh, lobster boats uh, out on the, uh, the water there. So I might try capturing some of them. But the light is just gorgeous here at this point. In fact, the sun is, uh, right. oh. Be careful. So the sun is. Oop, I'm moving. Um, uneven ground. So sun is behind me. A uh, big glowy thing there in the background. Uh, it's casting some beautiful light on the red soil here, 
and red rock formations. So, gotta get going here. Uh, this great light only will last so long. All right, so I found this vantage point here of Teacup Rock uh, that I can safely shoot from. It is not exactly the shot I was looking for, but I'm currently doing some long exposures. I'm probably gonna change my uh, composition a bit, because right now, as you'll see in a second, I'm really just focused on teacup rock. Um, so there you, go, you can see that photo there. A uh, bit of the sky, a lot of the, uh, the water, uh, and the waves going past it. That was, I believe, 25 second or 30 second shot. But what I want to do is capture some of this. There we go. I'm going to change my composition. So I've changed my composition to a horizontal uh, landscape orientation uh, so I can get more of this and actually some of that in there. Now actually, I, having so many photo on my shot there, actually there it is. Uh, so that, that helps give it a little scale. I actually do really like that. I am going to try to quickly just change that because there's a fisher trawler there. See if I can get them in there. So this photograph here is of teacup rock. Now, what I like about this photograph is how it is framed on the left hand side and the bottom hand side. Uh, you know, there, so it really puts the focus right obviously on teacup rock, which is in the center. Uh, the horizon line is, is obviously above teacup rock. So that's, that's nice as well. The colors and the tones through the photograph are nice as well. Now, there's two things I'm not necessarily a fan of in this photograph, uh, is the fact I do wish I had changed my composition a little, uh, so that in the top left corner, that beach area was not in the photograph. It's, it's a bit of a minor thing, but it's not something I'm a big fan of. And the other thing is, um, I, I made the mistake of, I, I, I just did one photograph of this composition. I put it on a 30 second uh, shutter speed, so I had to, a neutral density filter in it to give me this but realistically given the fact that i live here in ottawa which we have rivers and lakes but we don't have oceans and waves uh like this so i really should have experimented more um you know with different shutter speeds to see what else i could get and as well um teacup rock is a is is not as sharp as i would like it to be so it looks like i i slightly missed uh, focus but something to learn for next time, uh, and I can't wait to get back there. So now, as much as I might catch the that fisherman's trawler there, uh, he is moving, and I have a long exposure on the go. Uh, but you can see him going across the top of the frame, nice and slow. Let's see if I caught him. No, I can't really see him. This photograph here is actually the photograph where I was trying to catch the fishing trawler. Now, given the fact it was a long exposure, as I mentioned uh, just previously, it, it did not catch uh, it. Uh, now, but I really actually like this photo. It is, it's fairly minimalist. The color tones are great. Once again, the horizon line, uh, it is well above uh, teacup rock. Uh, now, the one thing I wish I had, uh, I guess two things, once again, I wish I had experimented a little more with the sh uh, shutter speed, you know, with different neutral density filters and the like, uh, to give me uh, some more options in the editing suite. But I also wish I would have moved my composition a little more left to at least give a little more breathing room on teacup rock, plus as well, just experimenting in terms of the angle of it. But overall, I actually, I do like this photograph. So it's quarter after six. Uh, it's about half hour or so after sunrise, maybe a little more. So light is still kind of there, but it's it's definitely fading. Uh, well, from a uh, golden light. I'm gonna try composition. So I have my camera there. Now it's not pointing the right direction. I just set it there because I left my bag over there as I wandered around. So I am going to try, we'll see if this works out, a composition. I'm going to try to get as low as I can. I'm going to change to my 24 to 105 and see if I can at least get a part of that look of the teacup through these things. 
It's obviously not going to be the same because I'm not at the right angle. Uh, but at least I know where uh, to shoot. Uh, have to research what the ties are at. Um, so I'll research what the ties are at now. Uh, figure out times when the ties are obviously lower. So if I am back out here or when I do come back out here, uh, I will know whether it is safe to come out to where I want to shoot or maybe I'm with a friend that uh, makes it at least safer to be with somebody or have some extra, uh, you know, clothing gear to wait around uh, through the water. Anyways, light is fading, so I'm gonna get at this. This is my last photograph of uh, Teacup Rock. Uh, now, I will admit this isn't exactly my favorite photo, but I wanted to share it with you uh, and kind of talk to you about what, what I like and don't like as, as I've done previously. Uh, now, the, the color tones, once again, and you know, just how I edit the photo, I do like it a lot. Uh, you know, there's, there's some nice parts to the composition. But what I really wish I would have done was focus more on the top uh, third left-hand corner uh, and, get, and also got a little more of the water um, on top of Teacup Rock. I find it very claustrophobic uh, in that area. Now, of course, I really wish I would have gotten down below uh, just with the, uh, the tides. Uh, I, in, I wasn't comfortable going out. And as well, given I was by myself, I wasn't comfortable necessarily climbing down in that particular area. Uh, but anyways, uh, I wanted to share that with you so you guys could have a, you know, understand what the area is like. So if you're ever up there uh, photographing teacup rock, you can get some ideas in terms of compositions and what might work and might uh, what might not work. All right, so it's uh, 6.30 here. On a beautiful morning here in Prince Edward Island. I've been shooting up near Thunder Cove. Uh, Teacup is just back here. Uh, I'm just shooting some video right now. And I'm just going to enjoy the moment. So one of the things as a landscape photographer, a lot of times you are chasing light, which I was this morning. I thought I'd left on time. And I... And Left a little later than I should, uh, however, not too much later. But without knowing exactly where you're going, even though Google is trying to direct me here, uh, first time this uh, location. So I wasn't exactly sure when I arrived here where things were. I'm not pre scouted this location, so I'm trying to find stuff here in Sunrise. Now, the sun was up. Uh, you know, it was probably a half hour before sunrise when I got here. Uh, so I could see at any of the headlamps. So it wasn't difficult to find certain spots to shoot. But obviously not knowing exactly where the teacup was. Uh, and whether I could reach it. So I, I could reach it from up top. Uh, but I could not get a good shot uh, that I was hoping for. Or a specific shot I was looking at. That's all right. Now what is nice here, as I said, it's a beautiful morning here in Prince Edward Island. Uh, yeah, it's a little a little chilly, but it's warming up. But just just the coastal waters here, uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. So I am going to enjoy the moment, even though this morning I was chasing the light. So Literally, oops, sorry guys, because the sun was rising over there in the east. Uh, I was driving north for the most part from the south uh, side of Prince Edward Island. So I could see this beautiful, beautiful sunrise, <coughs> excuse me, uh, coming up on the east uh, side. And I'm like, I gotta get to my location. I gotta get to my location. I got here, I think I got some nice shots. Uh, but right now, I'm going to, for the most part, enjoy the moment and just relax. I'm in no rush. I have no place uh, specific I have to be this morning. 
uh, up until the point my uh, stomach gets hungry. But I'm the only one out here. Now there are some homes, uh, cottages uh, along here. But there's no one else out on the beach. Now, see how long here. Uh, you can't really tell with this, but there's a bunch of fishermen's boats out there. So I have a lot on the beach, but there are uh, people up and at them quite earlier than I was uh, currently working this morning. So, but for me, I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful morning in Prince Edward Island.